Hope Channel viewers are loyal, encouraging friends and neighbours to watch. Why? Our viewers believe that Hope Channel not only enhances living, but changes lives through its compelling lineup of programs. Documentaries take subscribers around the world and back through time, visiting places where history was made. Fascinating biographies open up the lives and times of people who made a difference. Travel programs transport the viewer around the world demonstrating how people work together to make a better planet. Inspirational program challenges viewers to experience the joy of discovering faith values and offer spirituality as an important part of a balanced lifestyle. Health and lifestyle programs teach disease prevention and make healthy living simple and attractive. Hope Channel programs provide invaluable support for developing healthy relationships and strong communities. Welcome to donor-supported Hope Channel. a big bang and a big smile and welcome to Dynamic Living, the total you with our episode New Year, New You. So bagong bago pala tayo, bagong taon, bagong tao, bagong silang, bago lahat. Ha? So I'd like to welcome to the show my guests. Mukha yatang panay lalaki, it's a dominance of the male species. Ha? Mukha yatang year of the men, ang 2015, I hope not. <laughs> okay, I'd like to welcome to the show my guests. First of all, I'd like to welcome Mr. Marlon Tahale. Good evening sa imo Marlon. Thank you. Thank you for inviting this uh, new program, the Hope Channels. Oh, uh because -huh, you will be sharing with us some inputs on how to become physically fit. Kagaya mo. Okay. Ah, so <laughs> dapat ganon. Ganon yung ating magiging uh -huh. goal ngayong gabing ito. And of course, hindi naman po pwede ang discussion ng totality ng isang tao for the new year and for the new you mm -hmm. kung hindi naman kasama ang ating financial fitness. Kasama okay. natin sa ating show ngayon si Mr. Sonny Mendoza. He's actually the president now yes. of South Bank. South Bank. Okay. Good evening yeah. po sa inyo, sir. Magandang gabi po, Doktor. And uh, you know, uh, this is my second time in your program and I really enjoy it. And, and you uh, will enjoy it again tonight. Yes, yes, I hope so. And I, I, I think so. Uh -huh. I think so. And, and it's this also... will not be the last time again. No? <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, we have mga suking guests. Eh. Ah, so, ganun. Yun. So, you might be one of them. Uh -huh. So, <laughs> good, good. Na yun, ha? <laughs> <laughs> and I'd like to welcome to the show also our Executive Secretary of the South Philippine Union Conference, Pastor Edwin Bulfan. Good evening po sa inyo. Good evening, Doc. And good evening to our viewers. We hope that the year 2015 begins in a very positive note. And that is to put right priorities first and foremost. Yes, kasi kailangan alam natin ano ang dapat na mga priorities ng isang tao no, para maging whole ang isang tao niyan. Mm -hmm. And there is no better way to start it right by watching Dynamic Living with our episode New Year, New You. So let's start off by asking naman si Mr. Sonny muna. Kasi mukha yatang butas ang bulsa ng karamihan tao. Ha? Diba? Parang galing kayo sa... With all the festivities, with all the gift giving, at yeah. makasyones left mm. and right, parang butas ang bulsa. And is it a good way to start the year, huh, Mr. Sanchez? Well, uh, actually, it's not really a good way to start the year, but, uh, you know, uh, gift giving, spending, 
uh, bonding with, with families, relatives, and friends is a family, is actually a Filipino tradition. Mm -hmm. So we cannot really avoid spending over Christmas. And you know, this is long holidays, of course. No? But uh, you know, uh, there are many ways by which we can avoid uh, being spendthrift uh, during the holidays and at the same time be able to start the year right financially. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Kasi alam mo, if you notice kasi kanina meron akong kausap, no? ang sabi niya sa akin kanina eh, alam mo doktora, sometimes I am afraid of the Christmas holidays. <laughs> ha? Nung ako, empleyado pa lang ako, masaya ako kasi ang daming holidays, walang trabaho, walang oh, pasok. Oh. Tapos nakakatanggap ako ng bonuses left and right. Okay. But now that I am an employer, I fear it. Kasi ako yung nagbibigay sa lahat. Okay, okay that's really true. Uh -huh. So, really so, true. so kumaga, it's always, it's a common dilemma among people. Yeah. I do not know about you, um, Marlon. Sa tingin mo ba, eh, hindi ka natatakot pag Pasko? Are, are you looking forward to it and... Pagpasok ng January 1, eh marami ka pa rin pera? Ah, simple. Nandun sa akin. Mano talaga yun. Okay, kasi pag, alam mo na, maliban sa mga <coughs> pamimigay natin, magresto tayo sa sarili natin. Mm -hmm. <laughs> But uh, tonight, we will try to discuss and get some inputs from Mr. Sunny on how to stay financially yeah. fit and healthy. Mm -hmm. ba? So, say mo naman, Pastor, people sometimes, you know, especially, minsan, we, we have what we call resolutions. Di ba? Palang, my New Year's resolution ako, my list of things that I want to do for the year. Eh. In your experience, as, you know, as a worker of God, Nakita mo ba na ang trend ng maraming mga tao is to put God in the first, in their list of the things that they want to do for the year? Unfortunately, ang um, general trend is, you know, if people will have to make realistic survey, mm -hmm. you will find out that many people would put spirituality be below the list. They seem to feel that there are things more important than being spiritual, being religious. But I think the key to real happiness, if we talk about happiness, is spirituality. That should be on the top of the list. All the rest will fall in place mm -hmm. if what is supposed to be number one is considered. You know, you, you know just like the words of Christ in Matthew 6.33. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and His righteousness, and all these things will be added unto you. All these things relates to everything else after we have prioritized God in our lives. Mm -hmm. So, dapat ang sa inyo, eh, kailangan number one sa list nating lahat ng nanonood ngayon should be to put God there at the first right, right. sa ating uh, listahan. Mm -hmm. ano? Pero alam mo, there's, there's a difference kasi. Depende kasi yan sa age bracket yata. Mm -hmm. Di ba? Pero eh, pagka mga bata pa, hindi yata ganun sila. Iba yung kanilang mga listing. Eh. Pagka mga teenagers and adolescents, iba din. Pagka medyo middle age na, iba na. Pagka medyo you know, you're in the sunset years, nag-iiba din yun. Mm -hmm. But then, all of that, even as children, hindi ba dapat turuan na natin sila to start it right with God? Di po ba, mm -hmm. Pastor? Yeah, yeah. Uh, you see, mm -hmm. the four aspects, the four major aspects of life, and that is the physical aspect, the mental aspect, the social aspect, and the spiritual aspect, all these four are the same with practically all other living beings like the animal kingdom, you know? But the tree makes us equally uh, very similar with the animals. I mean, animals give attention to their bodies. Animals give attention. You know, they have social life. They have uh, mental development. The only difference that makes us the highest of all uh, living creatures in the animal kingdom, that's if we use the term, is, is spirituality. Because that's our main difference. We don't see dogs praying, praying to God, yes. singing <laughs> praises to the Lord. Yeah. We don't see that, but that is the main difference between us, which really means if we put spirituality aside, we go back to the level of just being animals. Mm -hmm. And that's, I fear that. Mm -hmm. And there are, there are indications in the world today that many have trended into that direction. And uh, I feel mm -hmm. they should awaken. Mm -hmm. We should go back to where our difference is between animals because we are not just the animals. priorities right mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and start it right now well, no mm -hmm. I'd, like, yes. I'd like i'd like to uh, to ask uh, si pastor no mm -hmm. because uh, basically uh, the holidays the holidays especially christmas and new year 
should be centered. Actually, God-centered. Right. It should be God-centered because we are actually rejoicing mm -hmm. and we are happy because of the coming of the birth of the Lord. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think all religions, no, uh, well, except maybe uh, our brother uh, Muslims no, mm -hmm. in Islam, uh, put uh, a premium into preparing themselves and preparing their their you know, uh, their, yes. their their homes uh, and uh, you know uh, doing their uh, right. putting up their calendar of activities towards you know celebration. Uh, celebration of the coming of the Lord of the birth of the Lord so but but I agree with you mm -hmm. I agree with you because you know uh, the common trends now seems to point out to the fact that there are some indications really that the spirituality of of at the... At saka parang nagiging materialistic na kasi ang yeah. celebration, di ba? Uh, parang it's more of buying things, doing things, you know. Yeah. They've forgotten the the more basic, more important things. Eh. So, yeah. let's go back to you, uh, Sir Sonny. Yeah. Okay. Sinabi ko kanina, di ba, na butas yung bulsa ng karamihan pagkatapos. <laughs> yeah. Pero what would be the safest way na matapos yung festivities na yon? you would still be on the right track in terms of finances? Uh, well, uh, I think it should start uh, with the personal discipline. Mm -hmm. Not only uh, with us as individuals, but uh, discipline of the whole family. Okay, and if possible, discipline among, among groups of people. No? But, you know, it starts like, okay, the holidays are coming, we can already, Allocate. we know already what's going to happen. <laughs> So maybe you should actually budget that this should be my budget for, for, for the gifts, this should be my budget for the celebrations, this should be my budget for the festivities, this should be the budget for the, for the bonding with families and friends and all those things. So, ang ibig niyo pong sabihin, Sir Sunny, eh, as early as January 1, dapat naka, yeah. nakaplano na yun. Ngayon pa. Ngayon pa lang, di ba? Pa Parang hinahanda okay. mo na for the coming December yes, 2015, 20, di ba? Yes, uh -huh. December 2015. Because... Uh, for all you know, uh, the next Christmas is just around the corner, mm -hmm. diba? It's just around the corner. And uh, our experiences in the past years would tell us that ito yung gagastusin ko dito, ito yung dito, ito yung dito. Para bang in the, at the back of your mind, you're already laying away mm -hmm. some, mm -hmm. some, uh, you know, th those are the things that, and you know, uh, when you buy the gifts during Christmas time, it's going to be expensive. Mm -hmm. But, for example, if January you know already... January pa lang, bumili ka na ngayon. Hindi uh, naman siguro January, <laughs> but uh, what I'm saying is... <laughs> At saka madaming sale ngayon, kasi yeah, alam na mga, yeah, mga nagbibenta na... Yeah, madaming end of season end sale. End of season sale, oh, yeah. end of season. Tanggalin mo na lang yung 2014 na mga ano para... <laughs> <laughs> so, itago mo na, dahan-dahan. Yeah, yeah, itago. Dahan, uh, we know some people are doing that. Uh, well, even, even, uh, even yung mga fruitcakes, even yung mga keso, even all those things can be stored. And when you buy it, out of season, talagang medyo mas mura siya, mm. di ba? Okay. Then you just put it there. But you know, it takes a lot of discipline. It takes a lot of personal and, uh, mm -hmm. you know, uh, collective discipline. Especially family discipline. Lalo na pagdating sa pera. Diba? Yeah, definitely. Uh, kasi definitely. Uh, to be able to do a budget plan, it requires the involvement of everyone in the family. Yes, yes. Hindi yes. lang yun si tatay, eh, siya yung taga-compute, taga-bigay ng pera. O kaya uh, si nanay, taga-tago. Diba? Everybody yeah. should have a hand in, in budgeting. Diba? Yeah, yeah, And yeah. Do, you, do you think, sir, na even as young as our children are today, they should be taught the value of money? Yeah, they, should, they should be. Because, you know, uh, uh, it's very hard uh, uh, getting into the culture and discipline of saving money uh, should start at a very young age. Should start at a very young yeah. age. Because it has to be ingrained in the, in the personality of the person. It has to be ingrained in his subconscious. It has to be ingrained in his psyche. Mm -hmm. uh, talagang ganon. So, dapat para uh, para siyang ano siya eh, parang culture na siya. Yes, And yes. it's a second uh, nature to a person to yes. be saving, setting aside a certain yes. amount, yes. di ba? Uh, so, dapat as young as they are, they should be taught already. Yeah, so, okay. that, that should be our practice, di ba? That should be our practice. Uh, pero, but, the sad thing is... <laughs> yeah, the sad thing is, you know, uh, sometimes the, the young also uh, get the... Not, not, I'm not saying it's bad, but the not so 
uh, organized and uh, not so disciplined way of handling, uh, from their their, money. of handling money from their parents oh. themselves. So, dapat pagka January pa lang, lahat sila bibilhan natin sa Pasko ng mga alkansiya. Diba? Oh, so, mas maganda nga. gift siguro, siguro nga. yun. Oh. O kaya naman, or, o kaya naman savings na open, passbook na open o, o, para open, sa pangalan nila. Yes, open para, account with Southbank. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, mamaya na pala yun. <laughs> yes, mamaya na yun. Okay. So, punta okay. naman natin si Marlon. Marlon, eh, <laughs> syempre, katatapos kumain yun. ng maraming masasarap na kumbaga eh, kahit na bawal kinakain kasi masarap nga naman at kasama siya sa festivities. So, paano sila? Do they flock into the gym at the very start of the year? Oh, Mas marami ba kayong attendees ngayon pagka bagong taon kaysa yung sa kalagitnaan na ng taon? Yun, yung mga conscious na sa body. Pag January, the first day sa among mag-open ng gym, yun, yun talaga. Dami Amin. talaga yun na magpa-born talaga sa pots kasi dami na kain na patty foods, mga sweets, mga mga mag-convert sa pots. Uh -huh. <laughs> so, so over-calorie intake mm. sila. So, ato na na sila dito sa gym. Ano na yun? Mga na itong preparahan, January, diet, prepares, body, body conscious, pag abos na bim, ah, holiday season, ano yun, prepares. Paano pa saan? Would you say na kinsa man nga group of people ang usually nga naagaan ha sa inyo ha during, you know, the first part of the year. Like, for example, mas daghan ang babae kaysa lalaki, the young uh, generation ba to, the middle age group, or even yung mga tigulang na? So, at the time, karun ko na, uh, fair na. Mm -hmm. Dili na yung tulad noon na yung mga matatanda lang. E, ngayon, dami ng gym yun dito sa Candy Oro. Kaya nga, yung mga kahit mga bata ngayon, gusto na health conscious na eh. Mm -hmm. Kasi karamihan ngayon, Bata pa, nagka-high blood, nagka-stroke. Nagka diba? oh. Dahil yan sa mga kinakain natin. Pero ang problem na ito, mga God, is we have what we call the weekend warriors. Mm -hmm. Ito yung mga taong, they do their gym, they do their aerobics, they do their exercise only during okay. Saturday and Sundays. Mm -hmm. Yun lang nila ginagawa. But the rest of the week, they don't do any exercise at oh. all. So para bang, can we also apply that by saying na meron din kayong mga clients na who would just go there during the first three months of the year, kaya they wanted to burn all the calories that they have imbibed, and pagdating ng April, May, wala na, ningas kugo na ulit. Okay. Karamihan yan. Karamihan yan. Pagdating ng January, ando na, papapayat na. Pag makuha na yung gusto nila, maghinto na. Uh -huh. o, yun, ang, yun ang ginawa. Hindi, na, hindi yan lifestyle. Eh. Mm -hmm. hindi, o, kaya nga, yun ang nangyari. Kaya nga, sa, kami, kami doon sa gym, mga instructor, mga advice talaga, kung kung magbubuhat ka naman, tuloy-tuloy mm -hmm. para hindi malang ngayon o bukas kasi pag pagkasakit ka, yun talaga yan. Doon mm -hmm. ka na maghanap ng oras mo na magbuhat, mm -hmm. di ba? Karamihan yung rason nila, busy. Mm -hmm. Eh, ako lang busy-busy yan lang yun. <laughs> <laughs> Oo, oh, kasi hindi marunong mag-budget ng oras. Pa okay. Mag-budget ka talaga ng oras para sa pag sa sarili mo. Yes, you were about to say something, yeah, Pastor. Kaya yung sinabi ni Sir Sandy kanina, uh, it's a matter of how a person had been brought up from the home. If, you know, it's the same on financial uh, upbringing, it's the same on the physical upbringing. If a child has been taught from childhood, he makes it a lifestyle. And if it is already integral part of his daily living, you know, we are driving, for example, on our part, we are driving from our home every day, which is about 12 kilometers from Cagayan de Oro, that's beyond Lumbia. But along the way, we see so many people jogging early morning when we are on our way to the office. And these are people of different ages, meaning nagbari na ngayon. Ang iba, nakahalata lang ng pangangailangan nang sila'y matanda na. Mm -hmm. Pero ang iba naman, early year pa, very conscious na sila. Pero usually, at alus itong nakakahalata na ang pangangailangan ngayong matanda na tayo dahil kung minsan, remedial na lang. Yes. Whereas kung sa younger pa, nakaka-avoid yung mga sa problems, pag, physical pag, problems. Pag ano na. And, mm -hmm. and you mentioned kasi, Pastor, na it's a lifestyle for both money and for the yep. physical. It's also the same with the spiritual. That's very it's the true. same true with the medical aspect mm -hmm. also, with the health of a person. Eh. Yeah. Kailangan, it's a way of life. Mm -hmm. Hindi siya yung, yeah, yeah, hindi siya, pwede ngayon, bukas hindi. Mm -hmm. no? mm -hmm. Kasi, ang chances are, pagka ganyan pala sila, sa inyo Marlon, in practice ninyo doon sa gym ninyo, kung mga tao ganyan na pupunta, tas mamaya ititigil na naman, punta, tigil do you think it would be 
you know, beneficial or mas risky sa kanila yun? Mas risk yun. Mm -hmm. Kasi yeah. Yeah. yung minsan, ay karamihan dyan, pag magpunta doon, pag mapapayat, o kas uh, simple, kasama na yung diet doon, eh, yung metabolism mo, alam mo naman, di ba? Mm -hmm. Pag mag-diet mag ka, yung metabolism mo naman, mag-adjust. O pag maghinto ka naman siya, kain na ng kain. Ay, paano na <laughs> yun? Yun talaga, mag-istot talaga yung pat mo doon sa katawan mo. Oh, and it will be so difficult to burn them. Oh, oh. Once, once these are already in the fat cells, they are already converted into fat cells, it will be very difficult to burn them. Eh. So, yun yung ano. So, balikan ko naman ngayon si Mr. Sunny. Eh. Sir Sunny, you mentioned something like budgeting. Should be yeah. an integral part of a family. Eh. Yeah. So, it's a family affair. So, how does one do budget? Like for example, ako I'm an ordinary housewife. Heto lang ang pera ko. Should I be able? Should I include in my budgeting scheme? Kahit na kakaunti lang don, ipilagay ko sa savings. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Wala namang wala namang ano eh pera na talagang kasya, di ba? No matter how how big is your salary or your income from business, it's always cool lang if you do not have. Uh, say the discipline of saving, of saving. Well, uh, it's not hard. Uh, it's not. It's not easy to budget. Uh, and uh, you know, housewives will tell us that it is not okay. But of course, there are priorities. Uh, priorities is food. Okay, the utilities, uh, education of the children, and there should be priorities, diba? So, yung priorities na yon will really evolve on the lifestyle, and of course. Uh, yung yung kakayanan ng mm. ng family the whole family it's not only yung kaya ng sweldo ng husband but also yung kasama na rin yung sweldo and the collective the collective uh, uh, income In other of words, the whole family di ba palagi nating naririnig yun sir Sunny na you should be spending below your spending should be below what you are earning In other words, ah, definitely, oh, diba? definitely, definitely ganun definitely. dapat yung maxim natin. Yeah, yeah, Hindi yeah, yung yeah. spend within your means. Kasi pag sinabi mong spend within your means, ang probability na mauubos mo yun, mas mataas yeah, kaysa yeah. kung mag-spend ka below your yes. means. Eh. Well, uh, the advice to us of the financial experts, no? uh, because there are shows in the TV, di ba? Nakikita natin, on the money, mm -hmm. on the money, sa, every morning doon sa ANC, is that uh, we should have a goal. And we should have a goal of, you know, saving this much, uh, maybe for the whole year. We should have a short-term goal, a medium-term, and a long-term goal. Mm -hmm. Okay. So when you have that goal, then you can already some sort of determine or define how much do I have to save. And then you go back to your income. Mm -hmm. When you go back to your income, itago mo kaagad yung what you are supposed to be saving. Okay, for those goals, para mano, and then the rest, yun ang ipaprioritize mo ngayon kung ano yung importante. Okay, okay. sa so pagbabalik po namin, when we return, we will continue on discussing our new year, new you with our guests here for our financial uh, fitness, for our spirituality, as well as our physical fitness. Please stay tuned. Sponsored by the World Seventh Day Adventist Church. We believe in being people of the Word, people of prayer, people of deep study of the prophetic writings, people who love Jesus Christ, people who keep all the Ten Commandments, people who are compassionate, who respect others, the community, and world needs, people who live healthfully by avoiding tobacco, alcohol, unclean meats, drugs, and immorality. We believe in joy. We invite you to be a person of hope. Uh, Sir Rani, what's your New Year's resolution? Karan? New Year's resolution is to become uh, better for everything that I do, especially education and my, and my life, improving my lifestyle. Uh, sa ako, uh, ang ako, ang New Year's resolution is um, makamanage gagog insakto sa kong time. New Year's resolution is to get fit and to have a better, better and healthy lifestyle this 2015. Usa sa akong New Year's resolution is to be more effective sa akong mga estudyante. Um, this year, um, um, hopefully productive ko. Huwag ka nang, in terms of relationship sa akong friends and family, I spend more time sa ilaha. Ano sa iyo mong plano buhaton para matuman dyan na kaysa sa last year ni mo na resolution? Akong buhaton para matuman ang akong resolution. Kinahanglan mahimok kong estrikto sa akong mga sa akong mga 
estudyante sa, sa mga objectives nila sa ilang pa-eskwela. Dapat kinahanglan tabangan ako sila sa hon pag-achieve niya na. In terms of sa productivity, murag mag-micromanagement ko, uh, career and then other stuff. And today, start new day, ga study na ko better, uh, ga st advanced study ko. And uh, siguro is to be focused ako ang negosyo. Ako yung i-prioritize kung unsay mas importante. I find time nga dapat i-bahay nga ang time sa pag-work o sa gym. Welcome back to Dynamic Living, the total year with our episode, New Year, New You. So, dapat new look, di ba? Mm -hmm. Kasi new year eh. And I'd like to thank actually, new look ang aking ano ngayon eh, ang aking set, no? So, yung mga tagapagsubaybay <laughs> taga ng Dynamic Living, if you will notice, I have a very beautiful set tonight. And I'd like to thank Miss Irene Beniga, no? Sa kanyang graciousness for helping us out here. And of course, ang aking technical staff for the interiors that they have to come up with over a matter of one hour. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> ah, so, salamat na salamat maganda, po sa inyo. Maganda, maganda. Uh, yeah, so nakaka-inspire. So, new look yeah. din ang aking set ngayon for, for 2015. No? Yeah. So, ang hindi lang natin pwedeng baguhin actually minsan ay eh, yung ating mga mukha. Pero pwede na rin. <laughs> okay, pwede so, namang i-improve. <laughs> yeah, pwede kong balikan si Elder. No? Elder, sinabi natin kanina na Everything else will follow, provided you put God at the top, di po ba? So how would you differentiate one's being religious only and one who is being spiritual? Kasi minsan ng mga tao, they, they confuse these things. Eh. They might say na, ah, dahil ginagawa ko to, this is already enough. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, being religious is more like uh, a person doing a religious life by, shall we say, family orientation or mm -hmm. culture conditioning that he has been brought up that is being religious meaning i go to church on sunday i go to church on saturday i pray regularly maybe three or more times a day those are religious activities a person may be able to do that but he may not be deeply spiritual because to be deeply spiritual is to be conscious that even your life has a spiritual influence upon others whether that's negative or that's positive. So when you have that kind of consciousness, that your influence is really more of what uh, preachers call the message. Mm -hmm. When you say the message, it's not the words that you say to people, but it's the influence that you bring upon them, the positive impact that you can have upon someone you have met on a day-to-day -day basis. That's spirituality. Pero you, yung, yung spirituality na yan, Elder, eh, it's not something that it comes overnight. Just as being financially capable of, a, you know, not being in debt or something that you can easily say that you can sleep at night, diba? it doesn't come overnight. In just the same manner na mm -hmm. hindi ka naman pwedeng maging physically fit kagaya ngayon kay Mr. Marlon, overnight naman nangyari. Mm -hmm. Yun, di po ba? Yeah, that's true. Because, you see, spirituality indicates your consciousness that there is a spiritual supreme being in charge of your life. Meaning you think of him and you think of his purpose for you above all things. At saka siguro, it doesn't, ano, na hindi siya yung ngayon lang naisip mo. Mm -hmm. Kundi it becomes a way of life. Yeah. Di po ba yun yung sinasabi ninyo kanina? So like when you pray, it becomes a part of your living already. Yeah, when you want to give a positive in, impact on the lives of others, mm -hmm. that's a way of life already. Oh, Madidevelop ang spirituality uh -huh. do. Although there are some people who have been brought up in a very religious background and they have a very strong spiritual inclination, but there are also people who have what we call a, a sudden change. That is the indication of the power that changes our lives. When a person is 
you know, if I use the religious terminology, if a person has been converted, there can be a tragic change. I mean, a, a drastic change. Meaning, siguro kahapon siya ay grabe, namumugbog ng asawa. Nung isang linggo, siguro magsisinungaling pa siya. But because the Holy Spirit has already brought up a change in his life. Now, the change may be gradual, but it is very evident. Mm -hmm. So, ibig sabihin, nakikita siya, nararamdaman siya. In the same way, balikan ko naman ikaw, Marlon, na kapag ka ang tao ay pumupunta sa gym, o kahit na siguro hindi nag-gym, no? but who would want to be physically fit, siguro nakikita din yun kung araw-araw niya ginagawa yun. Nakikita mm, yun. Yeah. Were, were, you, were you not conscious of your physical uh, body when uh, before, say, you said na 10 years na ikaw nandiyan sa gym, eh. mm. before that, ganun ka din baka conscious sa health mo? Oh, that's the time nga nag-join ako ng daming competition na sinalihan ko. Yun talaga. Kailangan kailangan talaga matyaga ka talaga magbubuhat kasi... Pero nung bata ka pa, like when you were 10, 15 years old, when you were a teenager at that time, were you really that conscious na kailangan eh, I have to be fit physically? No. Ha? Tulog lang na tulog? Tulog. At saka... Kain na kain? At the age of 20, always drink, hardly. So, inom. Kahit na ano lang. Did you experience during that time na nakita mo ba ang difference sa life mo, the way your outlook in life, mas positive ka ba ngayon na physically fit ka kaysa dati? Siyempre. Kasi pag nandun ka sa talagang kadalasing, talagang kain ng taba, siyempre yung bigat talaga yung katawan mo. Iba talaga pag nagbubuhat ka. Kasi... Andun yung disiplina din eh. Maaga ka matulog, kasi bukas magbubuhat na naman. Yun, pamakita mo yun sa katawan mo. Mm -hmm. Pero kung palagi ka lang iinom, pag ito yung kain ng kain ka lang dyan, tataba ka, tataba ka talaga. Mm -hmm. Ma-realize mo yan pagdating ng panahon na, yun na, tinamad ka na. Yun ang pinaka-ano doon, pinaka, yun ang pinaka-worst doon. Uh -huh. uh, pag yun ang, yun ang tamad ng kalaban mo, yun na. Inhirap na yun. <laughs> Tamaran naman eh, actually, you know, it's also developed eh. Hindi naman siya, it doesn't happen overnight eh. Diba? Kaya nga, New Year, dapat may mga resolution sa'yo. Naniniwala po ba kayo sa resolution? In other words, dapat ba ang tao ay gumawa ng listing of a New Year's resolution? Sige nga, tanong yung kayo, mga lalaki kayo, ang mga babae, iba ang sagot niyan eh. If I were, you know, kung ako tatanungin ninyo niyan, syempre, gagawa talaga ako ng list of my resolutions for the year, diba? At saka, syempre, sa mga babae, sama doon. Number one, oh, siyempre maging prayerful ka. Pangalawa, kailang magpaganda. Oh, di mas mas maganda. O kaya mas sexy ka. Mas maraming pera, mas maraming damit. Di ba? Para, para ganun. Iba kasi ang concept ng babae. Pwede kayo lalaki. So, do you believe that people should be making a list of resolutions for the year? Unahin ko ikaw, Sir Sonny. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, I used to do that. Uh -huh. uh, but, I really don't. Well, when I was younger, di ba, we are asked by our teachers. So, sige nga, mag-ano ka nga ng New Year's Institution and all these things. As we go along, as I age, as I mature, it's at the back of my mind. Para bang, generally, I wanted to do better. I wanted to be a better person. I wanted to be a better husband, a better father, a better grandfather, a better... Well, boss to the people, and not really boss. Boss is not a better mentor to the people to the people in the bank. A better friend, perhaps, to the people who would like to ask for my for my advice. The people I deal with on a day-to-day basis, including some of our clients, it's at the back of my mind. But physically, I don't try things anymore. Don't try things anymore. Uh, it's just that when th uh, when this happens, when things come up, and I have to make a decision, I have to do something, then I I uh, I fall back on. Uh, uh, and I, I want, yeah, year. I wanted uh -huh. to be better in doing these things, diba? I wanted to be better in doing these things. So if I'm doing this before like this, and I say there's a way to improve it, then I improve it. Mm -hmm. uh, I improve it. So in other words, naniniwala pa din kayo na ang yeah, tao yeah. dapat meron siyang conscious effort na gusto niyang i-improve ang life niya for the coming year, Yes, diba? of course, of course. So gan uh, ganun din po ba kayo, Elder? Uh, kagaya ni Sir Sani kanina, 
Nung younger years pa, parang we, we, we develop, you know, going with the trend na magsusulat tayo. But as we grow more mature, we know that there are things that needs to be improved that does not need a writing. Mm -hmm. It's more like the challenge and motivation is more like it is coming from within. Mm -hmm. For example, on my part, I consider my resolution to simply learn from the mistakes of the past mm -hmm. and try to avoid that, meaning gain wisdom out of the past failures and determined to make it better this coming year. Now, I don't write that, but that is already in itself a resolution that can occupy my mind mm -hmm. on a day-to-day -day basis. And which will guide you throughout right. the year, mm -hmm. di ba? So, napakaganda nun eh, no? Na you are conscious on what you would want to be mm -hmm. in the coming year. Mm -hmm. Sa'yo naman, Marlon, eh, ikaw ang pinakabata sa kanilang tatlo. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> Obviously. Siyempre, <laughs> I'm still the youngest. Ha? <laughs> Joke. <laughs> so, sige, Marlon, yeah. ikaw naman, you also believe na dapat ang tao magkaroon ng resolution for the year. Oh. Alam mo, parang there's a misnomer with the word resolution. Mm -hmm. Di ba, pag sinabi mo resolution, it's a re parang you resolve something, mm -hmm. di ba? Mm -hmm. So, yeah. pag sinabi mo yung New Year listing mo siguro of what you want to be, it's not, I do not know, uh, bakit kaya nagsimula yung resolution eh? Anyway, magre-research ako mamaya. <laughs> Sige, ikaw, Marlon. Yeah, nga, no, so, naniniwala ka din noon. Oo oh, naman. Pero yung iba naman, na, na, nagsusulat nga, pero hindi ginawa. Importante yan. <laughs> Sulat <laughs> daw <laughs> talaga. Yun ang importante doon. Eh, tulad ng ano, uh, halimbawa, mag, ano, pag-focus na ako, mag, sa amin na, magbubuhat na ako para... So yung sa inyo yung... sa gym ninyo, it's more of bodybuilding yung, yung sa inyo? Actually, hindi man. May, Maraming may, ibang may, programs. Oh, mga pang-fitness lang program, may pang-competition na program, may pang-bata, may pang-tanda din. May so, pang-babae, may pang-lalaki. Oh, so, all, all oh. walks of life, mm -hmm. pwede sila. So, how, how, do you, how do you advise your clients na, heto, dapat sa iyo, heto yon aerobics ka dapat. O kaya naman, ikaw, eh, kailangan sa iyo, eh, gusto mo ng bodybuilding, so dito mm -hmm. ka dapat. Eh, kaila so, kailangan, i-assess niyo pa ba yan oh, sila? Oo naman, oo oh, mm -hmm. naman. Pagdating doon, karamihan sa mga client namin doon, pagdating doon, Common question talaga. Makawa ba ito siyang buwan ng kian ko mawawin? <laughs> Wala. Yun talaga. Yung mga abs oh, na yan. Common oh. question talaga yun. Kami, yun ang pag, pag, paglapit talaga sa amin ng mga kliyente, sabi na agad, eh, yung sagot namin dyan, hindi yan sa araw, hindi yan sa taon, hindi sa buwan. Nagdipindi yan sa, ano mo, sa motivation mo. Kasi sabihin mo, sabihin natin, gawin natin yan sa isang buwan. Tapos, Magpunta ka sa gym once a week. Hindi yan, pwede. <laughs> pwede, di ba? So parang it's a miracle oh. you're asking for. Oh. Magpunta ka lang sa mga doktor na mag... <laughs> <laughs> so paano yun? Paano yun? Like for example, si Elder at saka si Sir Sunny, sila, pwede pa ba sila mag-enroll sa mga ganyan ngayon? Oh, pwede yan. Oh. Na, walang pwede walang nila yung mga edad yan. <laughs> oh. Actually, kasi yung, kasi yung, <laughs> yung health telepista, karamihan sa atin ngayon, yung ginawa, lifestyle lang, wala yung healthy. <laughs> Di ba? <laughs> Kahit wala, walang pinipinigidad yan. Kaya ah. importante, andun ka, yun talaga, healthy lifestyle talaga yung gawin mo. Kasi totality yan sa inyo, di ba? Kailangan mm -hmm. pati kasama yata ang diet, kasama yata ang abstinence from alcohol oh, and from oh. smoking. So kasali yan sa inyong mm -hmm. ina, ano, sinasabi dun sa inyong client. Mm -hmm. inyo. Advice namin yan talaga, at least uh, fat loadings ka talaga. Kasi... Mm -hmm. No, magbuhat ka ng buhat, tapos kain ka ng kain ng mga fats. Hmm. Ay useless din yun. Hmm. Para rin ang kumuha ng bato, pilokpok sa sarili. <laughs> <laughs> so in, in the same manner daman Sir Sunny, yung sinasabi niya na kumuha ka ng bato, ipukpok sa ulo mo, heto namang mga credit cards nito na naglilipa na. <laughs> uh, we we, we want to start the year right. And alam naman yeah. natin, everywhere you go, kahit sa mga malls, merong mga nag-aalok sa'yo ng ganyan. Yes, Parang very, uh, very, you know, it, it's just Uh, para bang left and right na inaalok sa mga uh, tao. So, what would your advice be to our viewers on, on matters of the credit cards? Yeah, uh, you know, uh, credit cards should be acquired for convenience only in paying your bills. And, well, of course, you don't have to bring uh, tons and tons of money to, to a mall or whatever. It's good to have a credit card, but you have to know how to use it, mm -hmm. okay? The first thing you do, Siguro, is try to take a look at, at the banks and the financial institutions offering credit cards and find out what is the best for you, for your lifestyle, for your needs, 
di ba? Kasi meron yang ganun eh. Mm-hmm. Kung kailangan mo yung para sa groceries, kailangan mo yung para sa gasolina, kailangan mo yung para sa air travel, meron ganun. But I would say you should get a if it, there is a card that is offered to you na para bang nandoon na lahat. Limit your card to maybe one or two mm-hmm. at most. Hindi kasi, yung lahat na lang tatanggapin mo. Nako. <laughs> kasi alam mo, one time may makikita tayong mga mga tao paglabas ng kanilang pitaka, lahat ang credit card <laughs> nakalagay doon, all those things. Para sa kanila, it looks, it seems like it is a status symbol. Parang na yung status symbol, di ba? Status diba? symbol, oh. di ba? Hindi yun, hindi yun dapat ganoon. And the first thing you do siguro is, if you feel na, ano, gupitin mo na yung mga credit cards mo. Iwan mo lang yung talagang uh-huh. useful sa'yo. So, tingnan mo ha, yes. yung mga viewers uh-huh. natin, heto ha, sabi ni Sir Sunny, <laughs> gupitin na yun yung mga credit cards. Kasi di ba pag meron kang credit card, uh-huh. very easy kasi ang purchases mm-hmm. yeah, mo. So, kahit na, pag may sale left and right, gamit uh-huh. kasi siniswipe ka. lang, di ba? Uh-huh. Okay. Eh, par- parang yung bata na nakita natin minsan sa mall, uh-huh. gugulong-gulong kasi gusto niya ng laruan uh-huh. at ipapabili. Pag sinabihan ng nanay na walang pera, sabi na, di ba meron kayong pag ipapasok mo, lalabas na kagad. <laughs> lalabas diba? yung So, dapat we have to be conscious, di ba, sir? We have to be conscious. And another another tip there is this. Uh, uh, get a credit card that gives you the most. O, kasi may mga credit cards na offered na they give you some rewards. Uh, they give you a lot of points. Uh, so, you have to get that. May mga credit card na free ang joining fee. So, if you join, if you ano, hindi ka na magbabayad ng joining fee. Okay, kasi... Uh, you could just imagine if you have, you, you can, because you can have 10 to 12 credit cards. Now, if you have, let's say, for example, 8 na lang. Tapos yung, ang regular, ang regular, ano niyan, uh, annual fee, annual fee is about mga 2,500. 2, yes. Oo, ganun, may, may 3,000, may 4,000. You could just imagine kung magsabay-sabay yan, di ba? Yeah. And, you know, you don't, you don't see it eh, kasi they don't tell you that you are going to be, Cred, uh, charge for that. They you just see it in your statement. You just see it in your statement. Uh, credit cards is could be a boon or a bane mm-hmm. in 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 one's life. Right. In one's mm-hmm. life, it, it could, can be a blessing and it yeah, can be a curse. It can be a diba? blessing Kasi and it can be a curse. Yeah. Yeah. And then yeah. at the end of mm-hmm. it all, patong patong hindi na makapayan. Oh. So, so it's not mahirap. good to start the year right with so many credit cards. Yes, yes, yes. So ngayon yung mga nanonood natin sa atin ngayon, they should be getting their scissors and cutting them into two. Starting the year right. You know what I did? You know what I did? It's a personal experience. So I had uh, you know, uh, ganun nga, di ba? Uh, even if I work in a bank, sometimes, yung disiplina, hindi rin masyado maganda, eh. di ba? So, I realized, I was, I have, I think, four credit cards. You know what I did before the end of the year? I, I, I paid all the cards, no? But, of course, I have to source some money for that, no? And sa, parang when you pay everything, parang sayang, ang laking, malaki-laki rin pera, di ba? And then, uh, what I did is I just selected the best the, the card that I can use for almost all the that the, the the things that I need to to do or to buy or to purchase, and then I gave the other cards to my wife and I told my wife, "You better keep this under lock and key." <laughs> <laughs> so now I'm only attending to one card, and uh-huh. I can already you know check. Uy, malaki laki na yata ito. And an advice is before the the due date, kung may pera ka, bayad ka na lang ng bayad. Para paliit ng paliit. Rather than balance. wait for it, kasi yeah, ang mangyayari kasi yung interest, malaki, yeah, di ba? Doon oh. sila nadadali yung patong-patong interest. If it falls due, you, you, know how, you know how much is the uh, ano, the regular interest sa credit card? It's 3.5%. Malaki yun. It's ah, malaki yun. Akala mo lang maliit kasi 3.5. 3.5. Pero when you convert that into i- the i- actual amount. Uh, you, if you do it, an, if you compute it na parang annual, Nako, ang laki nun. It's, mm-hmm. it's so, paano, sorry. sir? Like, for example, that's also goal setting. Part pa rin yan, yeah, di ba? Yeah, uh, like, in the spiritual aspect, the physical fitness, everything is goal setting, eh, yeah, di po yeah, ba? Uh, so, aside sa credit card that you have to set your goals on this, what you can do, pwede din po ba na mag-goal setting din ang isang tao kung nabaon siya sa utang? Kasi nga, ang dami niya pinamigyan ng pamasko <laughs> at ang yeah, mga bonuses yeah, yeah. niya. Course, so, pwede din ba siyang mag-goal setting? Yeah, ito kailangan, yeah. eh, uh, bayaran ko to at this period of time yes, para malibre ako. Yes, yes. yes. At the start of the year, uh, it would be wise for, for, for us, for everybody, 
to take stock of what? How much do I, how much do I owe? How much is my debt? And from whom do I owe this debt? Okay? And then you can already start planning. You have to plan out. Because merong mga, merong mga utang kasi mm -hmm. na pwedeng i-restructure or pwedeng ito muna unahin natin kasi pag hindi ko ito binayaran, malaki yung interest, malaki yung surcharge. So unahin ko muna ito. Okay. But your, your goal really is to get out of debt as fast as possible. Mm -hmm. Get out of debt as fast as possible. And that should be uh, one of the goals that should be set, yes, right? Yes, yes, So yes, it sir. all goes back again to money, you know, handling money yeah. in a very, uh, in a manner that will teach us, each one of us, including our children, yeah. our family members, the value of knowing how to handle our yes, money. Yes, yes, of course, Dipo definitely. Ba, Pastor, kasama mm -hmm. din yan sa ating spirituality. Yeah, actually, for example, in, in my own background, as although I have a religious responsibility as a religious leader, I was brought up in a very simple home. We have never been rich, but we have never been poor either. I mean, I would say I am a person. I don't, I don't consider money a problem in my life. Not because I have plenty, but because I have been disciplined by my parents what to spend for. So I don't bother myself about money. And uh, fortunately, God has also given me a wife whom I have really trusted in mm -hmm. our 37 years together. I, I just do not suspect her of anything because she is so trustworthy. So she knows I only need money in my wallet for diesel sa, sa salakyan. <laughs> and when I buy, uh, alam ko ang bibilihin ko eh. Iyon lang hahanapin ko sa store. Yeah. Pag nakita ko na yun, lalabas ako. Yun lang. So I don't worry. And, and then another thing, I would like to shift into, back into the savings part. We consider savings as one of our major spending for every monthly income. That's true. Meaning, savings is part of where our money goes every month. But our rule in savings is don't look at it. Forget you just it. simply yes. put it there, but don't look at it. In other words, you forget it. Because yeah. if you start thinking that you have savings, you know, your mind works over time. May right. pera pala ako, pwede oh, ko bang yeah. gastusin, <laughs> di ba? Pero kung kinalimutan mo siya, di at least, alam mo, parang wala kang ng pera, di ba? Yeah. Yun yung um, ano nun, yes. Isa pa, Dok, na, ano, na, uh, the, something I have learned together with my family, my wife and the children is, a principle which I believe is very effective if everyone else will do it that way. Huwag kayong pumasok ng utang na sosobra sa 25% ng inyong take-home pay, mm -hmm. ang inyong babayaran. So, if you consider into any mortgage, home mm -hmm. or whatever, car, be sure it is only within the range of the 25% of your take-home pay. Because if you go beyond that, you will start Having Deeping. nightmares. Oh, Hindi ka na makakatulog. Mag -deep, ha? Mag -deep ka na. <laughs> diba? Kasi ngayon, ay, kukunin na nila ni Mr. Sonny yung iyong, iyong property mm, yeah. para makabayad ka sa kanila. <laughs> diba? So, 25%. Tama po ba yun, Sir Sonny? O uh, pwede namang maglaro doon sa yeah, 25 yeah. to 30%? There's siguro. no, I believe, uh, Pastor, there's no hard and fast rule. Uh -huh. Diba? It, it really depends on on the family's decision mm -hmm. or your individual decision. If you can save more than that, 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 that that's, that's good, no? But uh, if you have to spend uh, uh, a little more for a worthy cause, diba? Mm -hmm. oh, because spending, investing is also spending. Yes. Diba? Uh -huh. Sayo, saving is spending. spending. spending uh -huh. Investing is also spending. spending uh -huh. you, you part with a portion of your money and you invest it, but uh, Mas lumago siya. Mm -hmm. But you know, uh, I have seen and I have been, uh, uh, I, I'm familiar with basically most of the investments. No? I know what investments, basically what investments could, could give you more. And, uh, Meron and tayong mga else. risks uh, attached to it also. Yeah. Eh, mga risks din naman. But for me, I think the best way really of making your money grow is to go into a business, mm -hmm. no? to be entrepreneurial. Mm -hmm. Kasi pag ang pera nilagay ko sa inyong banko, sir, eh, liit-liit lang ng interest. Oh, naman. Okay, naman. Oh, di ba? Oh, naman. Oh, pero pag oh. nangutang ako sa inyo, ang ah, laki-laki ng inyong interest. Oh, well, so, uh, that's our business. <laughs> 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 pero, ano, bibigyan namin kayo ng discount. <laughs> Ba, dapat new year, new you. Ibig sabihin, dapat marunong kang mag-invest properly. Yes, diba? yes, yes, So, marunong ka din dapat mag-save. Yeah. Nakinalimutan mo na may savings ka pala. Yeah. Uh -huh. So, balikan ko naman ikaw sa fitness mo na program, uh, Marlon. 
eh kung ikaw, yung mga kamag-anak mo, o kaya yung mga mahal sa buhay mo, ay lumapit sa iyo and they would ask you, Marlon, what would be the best for me to be physically fit? Ano kaya ang pwede mong isabihin sa kanya? Oh, ano ang iaalok mo? Oh, simple unang una niya pagbubuhat talaga. Mm-hmm. Oh, kung saan? When you say pagbubuhat, that's bodybuilding, yung mag no, uh, no, weights. No, no. no oh, oh. yung de- depende yan sa program ay bigay. Pero uh-huh. buhat na lahat 'yon. Hamon ba mag mag magtuning ka. So, ito yung program ay bigay ko sa iyo pang tuning. Mm-hmm. Oh, kung gusto mo pang bodybuilding, oh, ito yung program mm-hmm. bigay ko sa iyo pang bodybuilding. Depende lang 'yon. Kung tingnan tingnan mo na namin yung katawan ng tao. Anong, ah, so i-evaluate oh, nyo oh, rin oh, yun. Oh. Pati ang diet ba noon kasama doon sa evaluation ninyo? Actually sa amin, hindi kami authorized magbigay ng diet. So yung sa amin lang, ibigay namin yung na, sa experience namin. Ito mm-hmm. yung gawin para more on anong list lang talaga. Pero what pat- is the greatest obstacle usually? Ano yung hindrance kung bakit yung iba, hindi nila tuloy-tuloy nagagawa yung dapat nilang gawin? Mm-hmm. Kasi yun na, yun yung, yung sinabi ko kanina na pag yung tamad na maglapit sa iyo, yun na yun. <laughs> yun ang pinaka-problema <laughs> noon. Oh. Ah, pag tinamad ka, wala na ikaw oh, pwede mag- pang ano. Magbisibisihan na yun. Magbisibisihan ah, 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 na yun. Oh. Oh. So yun yung ano noon. So elder, eh, sa inyo po ba, if you were asked by a loved one, now, you know, or maybe somebody would approach you and ask you, elder, what would be the best thing na I can do in order for me to improve my spiritual life? I would say regularity in uh, doing what you understand is a spiritual exercise that can strengthen your faith. Mm-hmm. See, like the body, like uh, money, faith can also be strengthened mm-hmm. by your consciousness in putting your mind into it. So it's more like be conscious every day that there is a God who looks at you, that you are looking at Him, so you don't do things that will displease Him, which will also you know, be a, a problem with you, that you, you become a stumbling block to other people. If you have that kind of spiritual consciousness, mag improve talaga. You will go to the resource, kagaya ng spiritual exercise, reading of the Bible, praying every day. Those are spiritual exercises na kung mamimaintain mo, kagaya ng inaawit ng mga bata, read your Bible, pray every day, and you grow, grow, grow. 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 Yeah. You grow strong. Yeah. So, okay. what would be the benefits that a person can gain by, you know, strengthening his or her spirituality, especially at the very start of the year? Ang, ang pinakamalaking benefit siguro, eh, things can happen, but you are not shocked mm-hmm. because you, you have strengthened your shock absorber through your spiritual uh, resilience. Mm-hmm. Kasi kahit anong mangyayari, ang iba ay eh, nagbibigti pag mayroong problema ang masyado mabigat. Lalo na pag naubusan ng pera, oh, Sir Sonia. Na. <laughs> <laughs> Oo nga, na. huwag naman sana. <laughs> <laughs> Pero pag uh, you have become, you know, spiritually conditioned, kahit ano ang mangyayari, alam mo, oh. meron kang sinasandalan, oh. makasandal ka sa pader. Yun ang strength of God mm. that sustains you in even in facing the crisis in your life. Okay, napakaganda mm. nun. Ano? So sa inyo naman, Sir Sonny, yeah. paano naman natin ma-strengthen yung ating financial capabilities upang ang 2015 will be the best year And, you know, and it's going to be one of the most wonderful year that a person can look forward to. Uh, well, uh, para yung pinag-usapan natin kanina, get out of debt. Uh-huh. If you are in debt, as, as fast as possible. Uh-huh. And, uh, you know... Kaya the, pa ba nilang lumabas sa kanilang mga pagkakulat? Yeah, oo naman. Oo Hindi naman. ba kailangan magbigtis lang yung sinasabi? Uh, huwag na, huwag naman, huwag naman. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's, ano na yun? Uh-huh. Yun, pinaka last resort na siguro yun. <laughs> There's but no if you last are, resort. Uh, but, Ikaw talaga. Pero, pero ano naman, eh, if that is, uh, sabi nga ni Pastor, kung if you're spiritually grounded, that will not happen. Mm-hmm. And, well, kami sa bangko, we can help people out of this. Okay. So, get out of debt fast as soon as possible. And don't get into debt. Uh, okay. And don't get into debt anymore. You're right. Uh-huh. Don't, don't get into debt anymore. No. If you need to, but then you should be conscious about it and you should be circumspect about it. Mm-hmm. Okay. And, of course, save. Have that goal of saving. Okay. And definitely, of course, increase your income. You can always increase your income. Diba? So, ibig sabihin, huwag kang umasa kung anong meron ka lang. Yes, Kailangan yes, yes. maging entrepreneurial uh, uh, ka. Entrepreneurial Hindi ka. Hindi yung sinasahuran uh, uh. ka lang ng limang libo isang buwan tama na yun. Oo, oh, diba? huwag naman. Huwag uh-huh. naman. Kasi, kasi, you know, there's no limit 
for what we can do. Mm -hmm. If you put up a little microfinance business, you're helping actually some people. Yes. Okay. And that's the best thing that can happen because, you know, you have some money you can borrow from the bank, you can borrow from other sources, and then you put up a little business, and then you help some housewives mm -hmm. and you mga... In other mga words, you have yeah. reached that stage in your life where mm. it is not just all about you, yeah, but yeah. it is about sharing... Uh, sharing what others. you know and sharing your resources for the uh, upliftment of, yeah. of the life Napakabilis of po na aking oras dito sa Dynamic Living the Total <laughs> You. Tapos na po ang aking isang oras. Napakaganda po na ating discussion. New year and new you. No? So uh, I hope that those who are watching us will experience a beautiful year 2015. I'd like to thank my guests. I'd like to start off with uh, Pastor Gulfan. What would your message be to our viewers? You know, I want to let everybody know, to remind rather that there is a verse in the Bible. You see, when we believe God, the Bible is God's Word. There is a verse in the Bible that really covers our discussion tonight. It is found in 3 John verse 2, which says, Beloved, I wish above all things that thou mayest prosper and be in health, even as your soul prospereth. The number one wish of God for every one of us is that we will prosper. Meaning, walay plano ang ginoo na tayo'y mamumulubi, tayo'y talagang mahirap. At tayo'y mabaon sa utang. God really wishes that His people will prosper materially, financially. And then, as He wishes us to be in health, even as spiritually, we are also spiritually healthy. Mm -hmm. Yan, 3 John verse 2. Okay, what about you, Mr. Sunny? What is your message to our viewers? Well, uh... It's, it's very simple. It's very simple. Uh, uh, can I do some, you know? Uh, yes. Can I uh, plug in? You, plug can in, you know, <laughs> I'd like to plug in my bank, no? uh -huh. uh, South Bank. Of course, uh, uh, the people in the community, especially the business community and uh, the banking community, you know, have been working with so many banks before, no? And uh, but I'm now I'm now working with with a fast rising rural bank, and that is South Bank. South Bank is an affiliate of Silip Group. Uh, it is owned by the family of Dr. Uh, Rafaelita Pelaez. And, uh, you know, uh, we have uh, five branches in, in uh, uh, the region. The region. Uh, we have uh, three, actually three branches in Cagayan de Oro. Uh, our main branch is in Kauswagan. It is in, actually in the campus of Liceo. And uh, the second branch is in Veles. Uh, and the third branch is in Kogon. And we have, a, we have a branch also, we have two branches in Bukidnon. Uh, in other words, they can approach you anytime. Should yes, you need anytime. We are, uh, by the way, we are opening a new branch in Bulwa. Uh -huh. uh, on January 28th, we are going to open a new branch in Bulwa. And uh, uh, come to us, we can help you. Okay. Uh, we are going to open also another branch before the end of, or at, by the middle of the year will open in Valencia, Bukidnon. In other words, uh, in other words, they can always come to you for advice yes, on financial yes, matters, yes. helping them grow their money. Yes, right? to invest uh, in us and at the same time uh, to help them with their businesses. Okay. What about you, Marlon? What is your message to our viewers? Uh, ito, <coughs> ito lang masabi ko dun sa gusto magbuhat o oh, gusto mag uh, physically, uh, physically fit ay yung gym natin hindi yan huwag natin paabutin na ang gawin natin doon is uh, curing di ba? karamihan niya nagpunta doon ano na eh kasi may difference may sakit na, may sakit uh -huh. na kaya nga nagpunta ng gym huwag natin paabutin na maabot pa tayo ng ganun eh ngayon na ma, uh, ano pa tayo kailangan magpunta na tayo doon mm -hmm. huwag <laughs> In other words, it's more of a preventive thing oh, rather yeah, than a curative yeah. thing. Remember, dear viewers, that we need to set our goals right. We need to set our priorities and list them down in our hearts, in our minds, and teach them to our children and to the young ones. Remember that in Psalm 37 verse 4, it says, Take delight in the Lord and He will give you the desires of your heart. So if it is your desire to become a new you, for 2015, then you can attain it. Magandang gabi po sa atin.